Tech Easy Gamers, I went ahead and plugged this Mona caster to my iPhone. Or actually, the iPhone to the Mona caster. Hey, I just pressed the button here. Oh, did it randomly press a button without me even wanting it to? Oh, wow. I can press buttons with the wires. Look at this. Watch it change. Oh, snap. Watch it change. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Watch it change. It didn't change. What? <laughs> What up, Tech Easy Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, and welcome back. If you are stalking for the 50th thousand time and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe if that's you. What? And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the Mona Caster in a specific way, right? I have done a recent full review on what the Mona Caster is, how it works, all that fantastical, magical stuff. If you want to see a review on that, Check the card right there, I put it for you and you can see it and I can see it too. Actually, I can't see it because it's invisible, what? And if you look at that video, there are some comments there and there was one specific one that got me to want to create this video to cover the specific thing I'm referring to and that is the fact that you can actually connect your Mona caster to your PC for use over your PC for whatever reason you need it for, whether it be for gaming, for podcasting, for streaming, voiceovers, anything of that nature, this Mona caster can in fact do. And as a matter of fact, I'm using it right now, Tech Easy Gamers, right here in front of me is the actual Mona caster in all of its beautiful glory, including the awesome microphone that actually comes with the Mona caster, Tech Easy Gamers, in your face. So right now, I am actually recording with the Mona caster. I have already plugged it into my PC, configured it, and it just works video over tech easy gamers uh wait before we go uh let me just show you how you actually set it up it's actually done i got spit dripping down my tongue just drink a little bit of tea to moisturize that a little bit very easy to do with the mona caster uh i won't go into detail as too far as too far where am i going i won't go into detail as far as how i actually set up configured the Mona caster if you want to see that check the link in the description i did a whole entire full video on this particular Mona caster pretty simple as pie all you have to do is actually power on your Mona caster plug in the usb c and connect it to your pc usb port right 3.0 2.0 doesn't matter works on any of those ports techies and gamers once you plug it in it automatically installs the drivers and it lets you know the device is ready and when you look in the settings, it will come up as your AU AM100 Mona Caster line device, technically gamers. Now it is line because it is the line from the microphone going into the PC. So technically speaking, it's identifying the Mona microphone on the machine itself. As you can see here, I got some levels going just for demonstration purposes. I am going to go ahead and connect a secondary microphone onto the Mona caster just so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna use a simple little lapel microphone, right? Wired, nothing fantastic, right? We will plug this to the back of our little, God, look at this, this wiring, God. Hi, tickets and gamers. So let's go ahead and connect our secondary microphone, which uses a uh, 3.5 millimeter cable, which we will connect right here, right? Our other microphone input, which is right there and we will connect that instead of using a secondary XLR. We're gonna go ahead and connect our 3.5 millimeter jack right here into this port. Like so, techies and gamers, right? So we now have liftoff. So let's go ahead and see uh, what we see on this caster. All right, techies and gamers, so I went ahead and connected this secondary lapel mic in conjunction with our Mona caster, Mona microphone just to see what happens when we utilize these two microphones uh, on these two supposedly separate channels here, right? So we have this one here, which is our main. Right. So if I drop that audio down, it's going to actually. Uh... So now we know that this is our uh, sec for, oh, oh, oh. this is our primary microphone here, which is the XLR mic and our secondary microphone, which also is supposedly uh, that uh, secondary mic here, Tech is a Gamer, so um, yeah, what's gonna happen? I honestly could not tell you. 
uh, but we're going to see. So right now I only have the Mona Caster showing here on my OBS Techies and Gamers, right? I just have Mona Caster going right here on the bottom, as you can see. I have desktop audio, which I'm not using, my Canon audio, which I'm not using, and over here on the left is my Mono Caster Techies and Gamers, right? So um, let's just rename that so I know what I'm looking at. All right, so I named it Mono Mic One, which is this channel you see right here playing. Uh, it is in stereo, it's capturing my audio in stereo. So now what I interested in seeing is that if we go down here and we look at our sound settings, right? And we go to our microphones. Uh, we only have the Mona caster here, Tech and Gamers. So uh, I do not see a secondary line input related to um, this device, right? I have headset, uh, Steam microphone, which is another source, internal audio jack, nope line in so it's none of these these are all disconnected and this is my camly 4k audio which i am not using techies and gamers and that either so we're not using any of those things and my playback is my oled tv my sony tv awesome flying sauce so what's gonna happen when i try and add this microphone as a secondary mic input let's see will it enter it as a separate channel or will it start being an input device as a single audio device because it is connected through a single uh, output device, which is the Monocaster. Techies and gamers, I don't know, but let's go ahead and see if we can add something to this, uh, I guess to this setup here. All right, we'll stay on this channel because I want you guys to see. Uh, so this should be coming in as an audio input because it is a microphone. Audio input device, all right. Um, I want to add it as, I'm going to add it as Mono Mic 2. Mono Mic 2, right? Separate device altogether so we don't get them confused. Two, two is, is the lapel, lapel mic, mic and now this is where it gets interesting. I'm looking here and I see that it, it is only showing the line Mono Caster device, Tech and Gamers. I'm not seeing anything separate from that to select from, but let's go ahead and choose it again, right? Click OK. Maybe we can just still utilize the same uh, input out output output source and see if it, if it gets separated, Techies and Gamers. All right, so we have two separate devices going. We have the lapel mic. We have the moan mic. I see the audio levels coming through here, as you can see. Tapping my little microphone here. We're getting audio on both mic one and mic two. So it looks like it's not separating it. So if I tap the mono microphone, it's also coming up on both of these uh, input devices. They are not separate tech and gamers. And even as I am cycling through um, all of the other scenes I have here in OBS, this lapel mic is playing through the actual same input uh, device that I entered into OBS. So whether I switch to this scene, uh, looks like it has taken over the initial Monocaster input device that I set. So no matter which way I flip it, if I go to this scene, I am still going to play on that microphone which is this initial one I set. S switch to this scene, same difference, switch to this scene. So all the scenes, all the microphones, all the fun, but not really. Techies and gamers, I went ahead and connected my iPhone to the Monocaster just to see if I can actually push audio from the Monocaster, from the microphone, everything to uh, my PC and kind of separate the audio uh, I don't know, in OBS settings, doesn't seem I can do that. Looking here on my settings uh, really quickly here. It looks like all things are actually um, combined. You cannot select another audio device separate from what you are connected to on your PC. You don't, you don't see two different devices connect as you're connecting them to your Monocaster. They all route through that one singular device 
And that's the only thing that OBS sees, Techies and Gamers. So, uh, cool. Take that with a grain of salt, pepper, sugar. What? So, Techies and Gamers, the way you would actually be able to split your audio coming out of the Mona Caster is to go into the Audio Advanced Properties from your audio sources here. Go to your audio sources and click Advanced Properties. And it pops up this window here where it shows your actual, basically your tracks, right? Your audio tracks. And from here, you can choose uh, which tracks you want your audio to be on. So if I have the Mono Mic 1, which would be the condenser microphone, and the other one being the lapel, then we can actually uh, edit these tracks individually in post Tech Easy Gamer. So this is an alternate option simply because you are only having your uh, Mono Caster as the only device, but OBS allows you to actually split audio. So you can have a multiple tracks through your editing, and it works out fine. I can have the isolation of the actual uh, lapel mic here and for the XLR microphone on another track. Tech Easy Gamers, awesome sausages, pancakes, bacon, eggs, what? All right, Tech Easy Gamers, hope you like this review. I hope this was very informative. Uh, thank you for the inquiries on my previous review on this Mona Caster. This led me to want to delve into doing a little bit more experimenting with a uh, secondary microphone, check, checking the audio, see how it works over my PC. Um, and for the most part, it seems to work quite nice. Um, I wish there was a way that um, that the audio would split uh, between the microphone, between the audio, so that when you plug in a new uh, line device, it will come up as a secondary line device, a third line device you can actually choose in OBS settings, but that's not an option. Everything is just a Mona caster line device. And then when you start adding these devices to your OBS, um, it's not really splitting it, at least not with OBS itself, but that is fine because I have the Mona caster right here in my face. And if I wanted to cut the microphone or the music off like so, I could do it with the twist of a button, right? Just like that, or press mute, right? Bump it up, and it sounds quite cool. No special effects. Can I do effect? I can. Oh, what are you doing? So if you're in the market for the Mona Caster and you're looking to utilize this over your PC for whatever reason, what have you, for Twitch streaming, for your live podcast captures, live streaming, this thing is super awesome, techies and gamers. I highly recommend everyone invest in getting something like this. If you are doing any type of even recording like this, right i can just i sound like it sounds like the music is a little loud i can just drop it down a little bit have it going in the background and when i shut up i can play the music and if i want to talk while the music is semi loud like this pop in that side chain feature that is integrated into the mona caster and you are ready to go and just as soon as you stop talking the music starts bumping techies and gamers don't forget to like subscribe all that fun stuff give some love to the channel Talk to the algorithm, let them know that this is a good channel and you guys are enjoying it, right? By liking it, subscribing, that's basically the message you're sending out to the YouTube algorithm, whatever that is, right? I'll see you in my next video, my next review, the next time I stand on my head and then stand on my feet simultaneously. I don't know how I do that. That's crazy. Look at it.